transitions. Try to explain with an example what we have discussed earlier about the DD transition and formation of color in coordination compounds. Why they appear colored? When they appear uh, colored? This we will try to explain by taking the example. Why DiH2O6 3 plus colored? Why it is appearing in color? So here the ligand is H2O, a coligand that is present in that particular coordination compound. So it's easy to find out the oxidation state of uh, titanium there, that is in plus 3 oxidation state. So the outer D orbital of uh, Da3 plus will have one unpaired electron, that is it is having 3D1 electronic configuration. So that unpaired electron, since it is an octahedral complex, you know that after the approach of the ligand, after the formation of the coordination entity, it will undergo crystal field splitting and form two sets of orbitals that is T2G orbitals and EG set of orbitals and these two set of orbitals will be separated by a gap, energy gap of delta naught or delta O since it is an octahedral complex and so this one unpaired electron that is present in the 3D orbital of uh, central metal ion will be presented at the lower energy level that is T2G set of orbital in the ground state. When it is uh, moving to the excited state or when they absorb energy what happens? This electron will jump from the lower energy state that is T2G level to the higher EG level. By acquiring an energy equal to its delta O or delta naught value okay and that frequency of uh, radiation that is absorbed by the electron during the jump from one d level to the another d orbital is falls in the visible region of yellow green that frequency of radiation that is absorbed during the jump from lower d orbital that is t2g orbital orbital to eg level was equal to the frequency of uh, radiation in the visible region that is yellow green since it is absorbs this uh, frequency equal to yellow green, it will transmit just the complementary color, that is color violet. The complex TiH2O6 times 3 plus appears violet in color. The violet color is the color generated from the wavelength left over, that is its complementary color. As lemon yellow or yellow green light was absorbed by the complex. So this particular coordination entity appear violet in color. I hope you have understood. One more question for your uh, further understanding. So this is the question here. COSO4 5H2O is blue in color. Why? COSO4 is colorless. Why? So the ligand present here is H2O in COSO4 5H2O and here CO is in Cu2 plus oxidation state and so it will have 3D9 electronic configuration. So you know that there is an unpaired electron present and so it can have DD transition of course. It can have a DD transition of electrons and so it appears in blue color. When there is a DD transition there can have this particular coordination compound can uh, present in color. It can uh, show color. And what happens with the CuSO4? In CuSO4, this ligand is not present. It's anhydrous. That means uh, that uh, water has taken away from CuSO4, H2O. And you know that crystal field splitting is uh, the basis of DD transition. After crystal field splitting, we get uh, two sets of D orbitals. That uh, From that, this electron jumps from the lower set of orbital to the higher set of orbital. But if there is no crystal field splitting, no DD transition. Why there is no crystal field splitting? Because ligands are not present. Ligands are the presence of ligand is the cause of crystal field splitting. Okay? Since ligand is not present in CuSO4, no crystal field splitting takes place. And so there is no DD transition. And so it appears colorless. That's all about the color and coordination entities. I hope you have understood the basic concepts behind it. Okay, thank you. We'll see you again with new concepts.